Had a good question today from an Articulate Storyline user who wanted to change the expression of a character at certain points on the slide's timeline. And there is a little trick for doing that. It basically involves using some off-screen shapes as the basis of your trigger because you can position those shapes anywhere on the timeline to start and end when you want. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up to the Insert tab and then choose Shape. doesn't really matter what shape you choose because the learner won't see it. I'm going to just draw a couple of shapes over here off to the left of my slide. So I've drawn my first one and now I can do a control shift drag to duplicate that shape and make a couple more. And now if we go to the timeline, we can see that the three shapes are shown here in the timeline. And what I'm going to do is drag the starting point of each shape to the point at which I want the expression to change on my character. So we'll make rectangle one happen at one second. That's going to be what we use for the basis of our first trigger for the expression. And then rectangle two, I'm going to have that start at three seconds. And rectangle um, three, we can start that at five seconds. So now that we've um, put the starting places um, where we want them, we're going to use those for our triggers that are going to change the character's expression at those points. So over here in the trigger panel, I'm going to click to create a new trigger. And now we use the trigger wizard to tell Storyline what we want to have happen and when. So the action here in this case is we want to change the state of our character. So there's our character. And now we can use one of the built-in expression states that are listed here in the dropdown. We don't even need to create our own states because they're already set up for us. So let's choose the expression of alarmed for the first expression that he changes to. And when do we want this to happen? Not when the timeline of the slide starts. We actually want it to happen when the timeline of that first rectangle starts because right down here, you can see that the rectangle's timeline starts at one second and that's when we want the expression to change. So we're gonna change this object dropdown to rectangle one. So this is telling Storyline, change the character to an expression of alarmed when the timeline of rectangle one starts, which is the one second mark. So that one's done. Now we could do the same thing for the other expressions that we want to um, use, but I'm gonna just copy this trigger and then paste it, and then we can double click it to make some um, few small changes here for our second expression. So this time, for the second expression, we're gonna change the state of the character to let's choose a different expression. How about angry? When the timeline starts of not rectangle one, but this time rectangle two, because that's the three second mark when we want you know the next expression to take over. And then we'll click OK. So that one's done. And then we'll do one more, copy paste, and then we'll double click to edit. And this time we're going to change the character's expression to how about confused when the timeline starts of not rectangle two, but rectangle three and then click OK. So now if we preview this, we should see the character's expression change at the one second mark, and then again at three seconds, and then again at five seconds. So let's take a look. So there he is. His expression changes once, then twice, and then three times. So that's acting just like we would expect. So that's how you can change the expression of a character at certain points on a slide's timeline.